Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallic chemistry from principles to applications. In the last lecture, we have talked about a very interesting kind of activation reaction, particularly the CC bond activation reaction, which is very challenging in the sense that it is much more difficult than CH activation reaction or as well as HH activation reactions. In the last class, with regard to CC activation reaction, we have seen that this reaction is challenging because of be, being outnumbered CC bond being outnumbered by C CH bonds secondly that CC bonds are sterically unapproachable and lastly The formation of pre coordination complex complex of the type is very difficult as this CC bond is sterically unapproachable. Now, this is an important point for the difficulty in achieving CC bond activation because with our knowledge in CH bond activation what has been what we have found that CH bond activation is always acti initiated by initial coordination of a CH bond to the metal center and that is a prerequisite for the occurrence of a CH bond activation. Now, in case of CC bond activation, analogous pre coordination of CC bond to metal becomes very challenging because of the steric unapproachability around a CC bond. As a result, this will lead to difficulty in achieving CC bond activation the way it is done in case of. HH or CH bond activation reactions. In this regard, it is worth noting that despite CC bonds in fact being weaker than CH bonds as well as HH bonds, because of the occurrence of all these three different factors, CC bond activation become very challenging. We have also seen in our previous lecture that the CC bond activation has been primarily attained by using loss of ring strain. So, CC bond activation can be achieved by release of ring strain as as well as by aromatic stabilization and we have seen two examples pertaining uh, uh, to these ways of attaining CC bond activation. Here is an another 
example that we are going to take up which is also an exa elegant example of CC bond activation. And in this case, removal of of anti aromatic cyclobutadiene conjugation. is the source cause for C C bond activation. This can be or is illustrated using this example. So, a platinum complex of the formula platinum triethyl phosphine in presence of benzene at 120 degree centigrade gives this platinum complex to that reacts with this compound which has this highly strained cyclobutadiene ring and that undergoes oxidative addition on this platinum giving this compound that reacts with another molecule of this compound where there is a ring strain and that adds against one of these platinum carbon bond resulting in this macrocyclic compound and this undergoes 
reductive elimination to give this huge macrocyclic compound containing four aromatic rings. So, what we see is an elegant example that comprise of CC bond activation, this particular bond as well as this particular bond and as a result a huge macrocyclic compound containing 4 benzene rings are obtained and that too these have been obtained in a catalytic fashion. From that perspective, this is a very nice example in which catalytic CC bond activation has taken place and all of this has been achieved without metal pre-coordination uh, uh, to the CC bond and this all has been achieved because of release of ring strain as well as uh, removal of anti-aromatic uh, uh, cyclobutadiene conjugation to give something which is a more stable nature. Another strain release of strain in cyclopropane ring also gives similar CC bond activated compounds. For example, for example, for this platinum complex, reacts with cyclopropane in pyridine and that eliminates a molecule of C2H4 giving this platinum metanocycle with 2 chlorine and two pyridine ligands. Here this complex is also structurally characterized and the release of strain is prominent from this angle which is 60 degrees in cyclopropane becoming 168 degrees C1, C2, C3 or C3 platinum C1. So, what one sees that there is a increased release of ring strain on going from 60 degree to 160 degree as a result of this metal cycle formation. And this compound has also been structurally characterized. So, the main aspects of CC bond sigma bond is that this is weakened by 
ligand to metal sigma donation and cleaved by metal to ligand pi donation. So, here it is interesting to know how does this forward donation and backward donation when a CC bond interacts with a metal center occur. And this is can be particularly seen from the cyclopropane ring system where the ring is very constrained. For example, for the cyclopropane ring the sigma bond is bent for example and the bonding orbitals are given as something like this where of the lobes of the same phase are constructively overlapping. So, this bent bond bonding orbital are occupied <coughs> similarly the antibonding orbital is given by so here also antibonding orbital remains unoccupied and thing which stands out is that cyclopropane contains bent bonds and these bonds being bent has very little sigma overlap if they were to be a head on overlap between two sigma orbitals. As a result cyclopropane bo bonds are under lot of strain and hence not very stable if they were to be fully head on sigma bond type overlap. Now, there is a difference between an alkene metal interaction as well as cyclopropane CC sigma bond interacting with the metal. The difference between being that in an alkene metal interaction the CC sigma bond remains unaffected whereas, in a cyclopropene CC sigma bond metal interaction the sigma bond becomes affected. I am going to illustrate this with respect to following diagrams. For example, in cyclopropane bonding orbital
which interacts favorably with another metal orbital of suitable symmetry and this is designated by L to M sigma bonding. So, as a result of L to M sigma bonding, this C C bond is weakened C C sigma bond is weakened whereas in M to L pi back donation and that is given by a weakened sig sigma star orbital interacting with a field metal orbital. As the donation happens this way, C C sigma bond is cleaved now compared to this let us take a look of look at the scenario in which an olefin for example c double bond c having a pi cloud interacting with metal orbital of similar symmetry now this is designated as ligand to metal sigma bonding now the difference with regard to the cyclopropene case is that in the olefinic case the C C sigma bond remains unaffected whereas C C pi bond is weakened. The olefinic pi bond is weakened as a result of this donation of this pi electron onto an vacant metal orbital. And similarly, when the electron donation occurs from the metal to the pi star orbital. the sigma bond C C sigma bond remains unaffected
whereas the back donation results in cleaving of the pi bond and that is given by metal to ligand pi back donation and CC pi bond is cleaved because of metal to ligand pi back donation and what it says that in cyclopropane system the CC sigma bonds gets affected it either gets weakened because of forward sigma donation and then because of further back donation it gets cleaved. Whereas in a olefin under analogous kind of bonding only the CC pi bond gets weakened and the CC pi bond gets cleaved. So, with this let me summarize the topics that has been covered today. We have looked into various examples of CC activation which mainly dwelt around the fact of achieving the CC bond activation through release of ring strain. We have looked into various example and then we have looked in details about the CC bond activation in cyclopropane ring system particularly with regard to molecular orbital interaction between the metal orbital and the cyclopropane orbitals and the analysis of the metal ligand interaction in cyclopropane orbital along with the metal ligand interaction in the uh, olefinic orbital shows that uh, this metal ligand interaction in the cyclopropane orbital directly affect the carbon carbon sigma bond whereas the metal ligand orbital in an uh, olefinic system under analogous situation affect only the carbon carbon pi bond. We have also discussed that this cyclopropane ring being under uh, tremendous strain is uh, uh, bent uh, because of the uh, bent uh, due to the overlap of the orbitals resulting in bent bond. And with this we are going to discuss in much more details about various CC bond activation as well as other kind of uh, parfluoroalkane uh, complexes with regard to CC bond activation in the next lecture. So, I thank you for being with me in this particular lecture and I look forward to being with you in the next lecture discussing the topic of CC bond, bond activation in more detail and looking into various other compounds which shows such reactivity. Till then goodbye and thank you.